A freight train carrying hazardous materials derails at the Pennsylvania-Ohio border. Well, I went outside on the porch and looked and you see flames shooting about 20 feet in the air. Toxic chemicals now spreading in the air as rail cars continue to burn. Right now they're all posing danger to us, so we're treating them all equally as hazmat right now. Evacuations within the town leaving many in limbo as investigations into what happened just begin. Is it safe for everybody to go back home? A state of emergency has been declared in East to Palestine, Ohio, following a train derailment sending flames and smoke shooting into the sky. Hundreds in the small community, which borders Beaver County, have been forced to flee their homes as hazmat teams continue to work to secure the scene. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Erica Stanish. That train was traveling from Madison, Illinois to Conway, Pennsylvania, when more than 50 train cars derailed. We're bringing you team coverage tonight. Our Jennifer Barrasso talked with residents directly impacted by this and staying in shelters tonight. But first, investigators from the National Transportation Safety Board have arrived in East Palestine to bring a preliminary investigation. And that's where we find KDK's Lauren Linder with new details from the latest press briefing. 24 hours after the train derailment, the fire continues to burn. We're about a half a mile away from the scene, but first responders are staying away, and so are we, as hazardous materials release from the wreckage. Officials say air quality remains safe, and there still are no reports of injuries, but they say right now, just let the experts step in and wait. This is the beginning of a long process. A federal investigation is officially underway into what caused a train to derail near the Ohio-Pennsylvania border Friday night. The National Transportation Safety Board arriving Saturday afternoon to the village of East Palestine with member Michael Graham acting as spokesperson. Our team methodically and systematically reviews all evidence and considers all potential factors to determine the probable cause and make any necessary safety recommendations. Graham says the train was made up of 141 load cars, nine empties, and three locomotives. 50 of them derailed, with 20 containing hazardous materials. It started a massive fire with orange flames lighting up the sky. First responders from more than 60 emergency agencies from three states quickly mobilized. If you have not evacuated, please leave the area. Four tank cars in the derailment were carrying a chemical called vinyl chloride. The NTSB says at least one is slowly releasing it in the air and says that means it's doing its job. Ohio and Pennsylvania environmental protection crews, along with those from the train company, continue to monitor air quality. And Mayor Trent Conaway says they just need to let the fire burn. We have to let the professionals uh, take care of this. Uh, we are by no means experts. Uh, they are. Officials are still identifying other chemicals in the cars, using drones and other technology in the process. But at this time, what local leaders are saying is to stay back. Putting yourself and us in danger. Stop. Let us handle the situation. All we want is the safety of the citizens and residents. The mayor says he'll consider taking actions against anyone who sneaks past the barriers. The preliminary report is expected in four to six weeks. The full investigation can take up to two years. For now, reporting in East Palestine, Ohio, Lauren Linder, KDK News.